welcome back. Well, like it or not, the big C is something that affects all of us in yes. one way or another. Luckily, there may be some help in a place many of us might not be familiar with, our vegetable drawer. So happy to have our next guest on. Please welcome nutritionist Claire Jones. Thank you so much. Thanks, Thanks for, for having me. Thank, Thank you. you so much for bringing us. First, I gotta, I gotta ask right off the top. Pink. Yes. 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 Not familiar. This is different, no, right? No, this is our Mushrooms Go Pink campaign. Great. And um, breast cancer is the leading, court of, uh, leading cancer among Canadian women, and yeah. it's touched all of our lives, sure I think, has. most of us. So uh, Canadian mushroom farmers are partnering with the Breast C Cancer Society of Canada um, to help um, raise money for breast cancer research. Um, and the link, you may say, well, mushrooms, breast cancer, what is the link? Research has shown that mushrooms actually have anti-tumor uh, properties. Properties. So one thing we can control is when it comes to breast cancer is our diet. And research has also shown that including mushrooms, fresh mushrooms in our diet, can help prevent breast, breast cancer. Mm -hmm. So eating 3.5 ounces of mushrooms a day, and that's 3.5 ounces there, so four or five medium-sized mushrooms can help prevent breast cancer. Brilliant. Wow. Yeah, and mushrooms are also a powerhouse when it comes to nutrition. Low in calories, so a cup of mushrooms raw has only 14 calories. Um, wow. Virtually no sodium, no no fat, um, tons of vitamins and minerals, antioxidants, um, all these good things. So and from a food point of view, it gives the just the power to your food anyway. It does, right. and they're so Beautiful. tasty too. Yeah. yeah. So you'll see these um, pink mushroom packages in stores now, major grocery stores, up until November 11th. And for every kilogram of mushrooms that mushroom uh, farmers sell, they're going to make a donation to Breast Cancer Society of Canada. Amazing. Yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. So our goal is to raise, we raised $61,000 last year, so we're, our goal is to beat that this year. And, uh, Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And it's great because you've got such a great variety here. Now, with Absolutely. mushrooms, does it matter? Which ones you use? Because you see, you got enoki, king, portobello, what? oyster. Oh, you know uh, your mushrooms. Shiitake, shiitake. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, creamy. they'll be the pink packages. We probably just the white and the cremini, and also the sliced mushrooms. Okay. Yeah, which is good. Brilliant. But as you said, there are a variety of mushrooms available, For and sure. uh, we can talk about the variety if you want oh, the, that yeah. are available. Yeah, you 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 name them. Oh, yeah. Love them. Love <laughs> so. These are the oyster mushrooms. Yeah. Great in a, a stir fry or something like that. Um, mm -hmm. Velvety texture. Yeah. Really add a nice uh, sort of texture and flavor to a stir fry or something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. um, same with uh, shiitake mushrooms. A little more strong flavored. You have yeah. to take off the stems yeah. because they're a bit woody, but yeah. delicious in a stir fry or any Asian dish. But as um, chefs, we still use the stems. We use these to make sauces and stuff. Yeah, and or in a stock. I yeah. put them in the stock just to Absolutely. get the flavor. Yeah. Portobello mushrooms. <laughs> a lot of people a don't know. I'm that not because <laughs> I'm thinking about mushrooms. Mushroom gravy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Louis, I didn't learn nothing from the last segment, but no, go ahead. Go ahead. It's Sorry. okay. Um, portobello mushrooms are actually creminis that have yep. grown to a full size. And portobellos are nice and meaty, so you can use them instead of meat. Maybe grill them and use mm. them in, in a burger. So true. A lot of people, exactly. They, we were they, talking about this. Exactly. Yes. It yeah. is a good replacement for a burger. When you have vegetarian friends over, hey, oh. yeah. you still love mushrooms, so why yeah. not? You know, pull a, oh, and that's why mushrooms are actually cost effective, because yes. you can replace meat with mushrooms or por a portion of meat. Maybe mm -hmm. you're making a spaghetti sauce, and mm -hmm. you just re replace some of the meat with mushrooms. You lower the fat. You increase the flavor. So, yeah, yeah right. cost effective and easy. How about Here's the thing amazing. that people always ask me teaching and it's always great when you have a mushroom expert in cleansing. Yes. How do you properly yes. cleanse? Because as we know, mushrooms are grown in they're actually grown in peat moss, a exactly. substrate that includes peat Thank moss. You. So what you do is just rinse them in cold water and wipe them with a paper towel. I know Thank I, you. I have people that say, oh, I have to peel my mushrooms. I'm like, peel your mushrooms. You're yeah. losing a lot of the vitamins and minerals then. And mushrooms are actually the only vegetable that have naturally occurring vitamin D. So you don't want to lose any of those, no. those good vitamins. A lot right. of it is close to the skin on the outside exactly. anyway, we've learned, yeah. right? Yeah, so there's Absolutely. no need to do that. Um, so then we have the cremini mushrooms, brown mushrooms. If you haven't tried these, if you always stick to the white button mushrooms, just move up and try those. You'll just find it a little more flavorful. Yeah, next time you're making a stew, honestly, because classic French cuisine, Coco Vance, I've used button, but they're white. But once you go to the cremini, it just adds just a little it bit more It certainly oomph. does, yeah. You know? And these are enoki mushrooms. Yep. Um, great in a salad. They have sort of a crunch to them. Yeah. And when I first tasted them, I was very surprised because they're almost like a, a bean sprout crunch, but mm -hmm. with a mushroom flavor. Mm -hmm. Delicious on scrambled eggs or something like that. Mm. Sure. Yeah. Well, and, a lot of chefs yeah. garnish with this, too. So you yeah, have that's that right. Yeah. Of I'm going to make a soup later. And we'll, we'll garnish with them. Beautiful. So, yeah. Perfect. Um, and these are king oysters. Love More them. new on the market in the last couple of years, and I love them. They're sort of a sweet flavor, mm -hmm. um, delicious, just oh, yes. sauteed.
sauteed and put on top of a steak or something like that. Right. Very I mean, I just say they just look cool. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah. they're beautiful. Yeah. Exactly. Those are beautiful ones. Yeah. I'm going to do a simple sauteed mushroom now. It's a very easy, and this is really just to remind you that. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. We'll start her up. All right, we'll start her up because it'll take a while to, to saute them. Um, this is just to remind people that if you're doing a steak, if you're doing chicken, if you're doing a burger, great to just saute some mushrooms up and put them on top. It really adds yeah. to the flavor. Beautiful. It gives them that little sort of gourmet touch. Uh, yeah, exactly. I was just going to say, if you're having friends over, add a little mushrooms on top of your steak. Exactly. Your, yeah. And you hide the burn marks. If exactly. You know, it's so hot with yeah. the steak. <laughs> and when you do saute, um, just don't crowd the pan too much because once you start to cook mushrooms, the water in them starts to come out and they really will get a little bit too soggy so if you've got a pan I would say just about that much um, okay no more because gotta go to a break to but we'll okay we'll continue, continue after. right after the break come on mushrooms they're lovely you want to see more magical I love it my philosophy is never to throw anything away but never to store anything either <laughs> when you collect things or save things always have a purpose for them Hi, I'm Wyson. This week, Dr. Wendy Korber will be joining us to focus on pocket pets. As well, the Humane Society of Durham Region will be stopping by with some small animals that need a home. Tune in live at 5 p.m. this Sunday on Rogers TV.